Happy New Year, Bootubers. All right. Uh, gotta get something else in my mouth. That last beer was phew, rancid. Anyway, so what I have here is this brewery just opened up in August of 2014, um, and they're really close to my house. On a good day, about 15, 20 minutes um, west of me. So they're in the Ottawa area. Um, they're in an industrial park. Um, you just follow the Canatic Road all the way around to the back. Big building there. They're at the back of that building. And yeah, so I've been trying to get there um, to get their beers so I can review them and stuff, but I just haven't had time. Um, so it was an eve and I was there. A sticker on it, so I'm just gonna remove the sticker. And, uh, yeah. I bought the grumblers because they're easier to review and transport, and I don't have to drink, you know, six beers in one night or one beer in one night. This one's about two beers, two beers I can handle. So let's crack her open. There we go, a little bit of a hiss. A little bit of smoke there, not too much. Obviously, I'm going to use my Teku glass from Dominion City Brewing Company. And now, this was the first beer I sampled, and they made it. They made it certain that how I had to sample them was this way. 
and I'm pouring it kind of aggressively to get a bit of a head. Um, there you have it. Pale yellow in color, about a half finger of a white head on top there. Um, you know, it's crystal clear. There's chill haze on the glass because I just pulled it out of the fridge. And citrusy hops. Uh, it says citrus, and I believe when I was talking to him, he told me that the hops they use in this one are um, like Cascade, uh, Centennial, and Citra, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, there's a nice sweetness there. You're getting a nice sweet orange kind of characteristic there. A very faint bit of grapefruit. And that's about it. There's not much smell, but that's because it's a blonde ale, right? Blonde ales are fairly simplistic, easy drinking, made for everybody to drink. Cheers. Hmm. All right. You didn't see much carbonation in the head, but the carbonation's there. I can taste it. All right. Very light body beer. <clears throat> very refreshing. Very crisp. There's a nice, a nice sweetness throughout the whole palate. The sweetness just carries through right to the back of your throat where it dries out fairly nice and you're ready for another sip. Mm. So, the hop characteristics you pick up or the flavors you pick up are, uh, like I said, the sweet malt characteristics there. There's kind of a bit of like a Maybe like um, maybe they use like a a sweet malt like um. It's hard to describe for those of you that don't brew your own beer, but there's types of grain that have like a sweet characteristic to them, kind of like a Milanadan honey malt. Malts like that have a nice sweetness to carafoam. That's probably what it is, uh, carafoam. They have a nice sweetness to the to the to the the wort. Like if you just brewed a beer with that, it'd be sweet. Very hard, like if it's carafoam, it's very hard to, I wouldn't suggest making a beer with just carafoam, but you can try. So there's that nice sweetness from the grain. All right, now that nice faint citrus characteristic just carries along that top of the sweetness. It's kind of like a, a nice melody um, uh, of sweet and bitter. Um, it's not too bitter that nobody will drink it, or your average beer drinker won't drink it, but it's not, you know, it's not, it's well balanced, we'll just say that, that like that, um, you know, your average beer drinker would drink this and would enjoy it, whereas, you know, somebody that's a real craft beer snob would be like, okay, yeah, it's good, but they want more. You know, but this to me is a perfect all-round blonde ale. Easy drinking, people of all beer categories will drink it. You know, it goes down nice. The sweet bitterness is perfect. That orange grapefruit kind of lingers around the top of the sweetness. And yeah, it dries out fairly nice. So. Fairly sim simplistic beer, easy drinking, made for everybody. <clears throat> you know, so they did a good job with this one. Good job, Josh, and Dominion City Brewing. If you guys can get out to their brewery, they're only open Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But he did tell me that this year, 2015, has going to bring big changes. So <clears throat> I asked him, I'll get into more detail when I do another beer of theirs. But I asked him what size of brewing system are they brewing on there? About 700 liters, I think he said. Um, so that's not that much, 700 liters. So you know, it's good. It's 
it's, it's closer to a nano brewery than a micro brewery, but it's good. So he also told me that they're planning on um, doing like the other breweries do, like Bose, um, Kishisippi, um, Big Rig, um, 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 Broadhead, uh, Beyond the Pale, ABC, Ashton Print Company, all those guys, they're open all the time. And so eventually this year sometime, don't know when it's going to happen, they're going to do that. Now I don't know when, he didn't say, he just said there's changes coming. And uh, yeah, so that would be good because the biggest thing for me is if I finish work early, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'll drive there because my work is 10 minutes from there. So I'll drive there, pick up my beer, and come back. But they were only open Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I don't go out that end of town Saturday or Sunday, really. Fridays I do, but Fridays I just won't get home. So, you know, that'll be a good thing. <clears throat> so when I do my next beer review, I'll tell you a little bit more of what uh, information on the, about the brewery. But yeah, if you guys are in Ottawa and you want to try out, uh, you know, a small um, craft brewer that just opened up recently and they're doing good things, like I said, it's pretty much as local as they can get um, with the ingredients and a well-rounded beer. No complaints there. So, you know. Blonde ale, probably pale ale, pale malt, carafon, and I'm gonna say like Cascade, Centennial, Citra, that type of hop is in here. Um, yeast is probably your standard uh, US05 uh, Saf ale, dry yeast, or if they use liquid yeast, it's gonna be something like your um, 1056 Y yeast or uh, White Labs uh, 001 or whatever, California ale or something like that. <clears throat> I don't usually use the White Labs um, yeasts, I'm not too familiar with them, but Y yeast and Safale I use fairly frequently, so I know more about them. So, yeah. So, Dominion Cities Town and Country Blonde Ale, easy drinking. Thumbs up. Go give them a try if you're in the Ottawa area. Um, they're a nice group of guys. They have t-shirts. Uh, they have all kinds of weird um, knickknacks for your bottles, like bottle sleeves and stuff like that, keychains, uh, glasses, tacky glasses. I don't. I didn't see any other glasses but tacky glasses. But maybe eventually they'll bring in their sample glasses and maybe another type of glass, but the tacky glass is their, choice of, their glass of choice. They have t-shirts. They only have... They have two col oh. they have two styles of shirts. They're both blue and they both have the same flag on it, like that same symbol. Um, one is like a um, a non faded blue and the other one's like a faded blue with the uh, Dominion City flag on it. Um, so that's their t shirts. Three to four types of beers on tap, usually very small, very clean, very it's a fairly well, it looks fairly big because their stuff is so small, but it looks fairly decent size anyways. And he was telling me also that they're opening up um, another, not Domin Din Dominion City's not opening one, but uh, Broken Stick Brewery um, is going to be opening up just down the road for them. And that's another, uh, they're going to open up this year. So, if you're out in the Ottawa area, Stop by Dominion City Brewing just off of Montreal Road in the business park, Canatic. Follow Canatic all the way around to the back. Back of the road, big blue and gray building. Back of the building, Dominion City Brewing Company. Go check them out, talk to Josh, talk to the rest of them. And uh, yeah, get to know them. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, Brew Baby is out. Cheers, peeps.